Well, I'm getting ready to put the oil pan on, and I got it pretty much all buttoned on up here on the bottom. All the connecting rods are torqued, the main bearings are torqued. I've got the oil pump assembly together. Now, this engine, by the way, is does not have a counterbalance system in it. It just has a plain old oil pump right here. Uh, of course, that's the pickup line goes into the oil pump. Check your clearances on your internal here. Make sure your, everything's okay. Everything's checked on this feed line. Goes on over here. This is your uh, your relief valve, and of course, then it goes down here, which is where your oil pump uh, filter housing goes. So everything looks okay here. Uh, the oil pan over there, right there, by the way, that thing is incredibly heavy. Uh, it's solid cast iron. Uh, definitely uh, gives it a good level of protection if anything were to hit it from the bottom side. So uh, take a quick picture here in the front with the camera. And on the front here, you can see, uh, you know, you just have the front cover on. Uh, I like to get everything on together here loose, you know, because the, this flange right here uh, mates with oil pan, so you want to get your your screws in here started, get your gasket, everything set on up, and uh, just let this stuff float uh, initially when you put your oil pan on, and then uh, once you got everything kind of in place, then you can go ahead and work it on down. So I think for the most part, this is pretty much it for this this segment. Um, I, don't, I think that's pretty much it for right now. Getting ready to put on the rear seal here. And there's two different types. One's a rope seal and the other is just a regular flange type seal. And uh, based on the thickness here, you can pretty much, it's a, it's a giveaway here that it's a flange type of seal. If you have a rope type seal, there will actually be a little bit of a cut after this. So um, it has a, again, it's a different configuration. And here's the, the matching flange to it. So uh, this bolt's on the back of it. So if this is the type of, uh, if you have the, this is the flange type seal, of course, and the other one is the rope seal, which I do not have. So when you get your parts and put this together, you'll have to choose uh, whichever one you have just by identifying the rear part of this engine you'll find out which one is which So um, that pretty much covers it. Get to go ahead and put this together I well, just got all the cam gears and injector pump and all this stuff lined on up it's Pretty straightforward if you take a look here at each one of these marks If I can pull the camera right You'll see that uh, that's the cam gear and of course the center here is the idler gear the cam gear and on the bottom you've got your two dots with your idler gear lined up and then lastly you've got your injector pump which you can see they've got the two lines and with hmm, can you can see that Boy, it's kind of a little bit of a challenge there but uh, there is a line right there hard to believe but it's all lined up so um, Anyway, there, there you can see it. So that's all set to go. And got the pistons, everything all on in. Uh, next step really is to put the head on and uh, continue putting this thing together. So that's it for right now. Well, I'm getting uh, this thing together here. Um, it's going, to, <clears throat> going together pretty well. I uh, got the rocker arms on there and set the lash. The lash on this particular engine configuration is about 12 thousandths for the intake and exhaust. If it's cold, where the lighting isn't so good here, um, I got the, that uh, fuel pump there on the flip. I uh, got it upside down, so I got to flip that around. That's a silly mistake. And on this side, everything looks pretty darn good. Um, Head's been redone, of course. Um, got the injector pump, everything on there is timed. And by the way, when you take this apart, just FYI, you know, somebody was very nice about marking the, the pump location. So there's a line there, and of course you can barely see it, but there's a line right here. So it's important when you put this pump back on, you can even see a little bit of a line right there. To get that lined up when you uh, take it apart, uh, and for that matter, if there's not a mark there, make sure you mark it. Uh, there's, you know, a little inspection cover. You could actually take a look inside here and, and do some uh, check your your 
mark, make sure everything's okay. Um, but other than that, uh, you know, I think everything's going together pretty well. And just FYI on this, uh, FYI on this engine, there's a little uh, identifier as far as what the engine configuration is. This is an LH version, which is a, um, what do they call lightly turbocharged. It's a C4.236, uh, 236 cubic inches, four cylinder um, diesel. And the rest of this, you know, I'm, it's going together all right. Like I said, uh, the unfortunate part about this is that I, I bought this as a project and it was in pieces. So um, I'm looking, you know, just to, sometimes uh, this process of putting it together is very slow, but uh, it's going together nonetheless. So that's pretty much it for this. Um, I'm going to button up the top end here a little bit more, put the covers in front of the uh, water uh, jacket there or on the head. And um, I think that'll pretty much cover at least this part. So that's it for now. Yeah, you can see I just finished up painting. It doesn't look too bad. I use a Eastwood paint. It's a cat yellow high temperature paint. And um, we'll say that, uh, you know, gosh, it, it looks more yellow in this paint, in the, I, I would say in the video, than it truly is. And uh, the one thing I'd like to say is that not all cat yellows are the same yellow. So, um, kind of FYI, but nonetheless, uh, you know, I'm happy with it. And as you can see here, you know, other side here, getting ready to put the uh, intake and exhaust manifolds on. So, that pretty much covers this part. Uh, just continue putting this thing together. So, that's pretty much it for now. Well, I got all the uh, parts and everything bolted up under the engine. Uh, I had a few other pieces here I had to pick on up and uh, uh, ripped up. Everything's uh, pretty much all there. And um, yes, it turned out uh, pretty well. I used, uh, again, the Caterpillar yellow engine paint on this. And uh, there it is. Uh, so we'll see how this all goes together and uh, go from there.